So we back and we meet again. The Oregon Ducks are the Pac-12 North winners and the USC Trojans are the champions of the Pac-12 South. And this time we play for the Pac-12 championship. The last time we played them was in week four of the season in Eugene. As you see Brandon Dixon get that interception there. But when we needed them most, our defense stepped up big time. Especially that that man at defensive end, Todd Reese, who made that critical sack and fumble, forcing a turnover on down. Now we need him to step up again today as we're looking to stay undefeated and possibly meet the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets in the national championship game. Here we go. This time we play for the Pac-12 championship. We're looking to win our seventh conference title in a row. Look at Oregon though. Courtney Jackson and Kyle Brown were straight balling this year. Courtney Jackson almost got 30 touchdown uh, passes. While Kyle Brown almost had 1,400 yards rushing. Meanwhile, while Simmons is still injured, Trevor Jones and Hadley, along with Adam Williams, have been balling too. Now here's a heads up. Before the season started, I changed the location of the Pac-12 championship game. All I saw was Tempe, Arizona, not paying, paying attention to the fact that I was sitting it at Arizona State Stadium. So if you see the Buffalo Wild Wing logo in the middle of the field, this is not the Buffalo Wild Wing Bowl. This is the Pac-12 Championship. It's wartime. Let go. Wow, man, I ain't released a video in two weeks. I really got to get back on it. I really miss this. I'm having, actually having a lot of fun doing this, too. But as you can see, Jane Mullen there getting a six-yard catch. And there goes Courtney Jackson getting taken down by Steve Tatum. And now it's third and two. And on third and two, Jackson gets the call on the sideline. There goes the option read and the pitch to Kyle Brown. Brandon Dixon takes him down, but not before he gets the first down. And it's first and 10, Oregon. First and 10, Jackson. Sacked by Michael Tate, the senior nose tackle. Yeah, we're really going to miss him next year. We're going to have to get back on the recruiting ground to get another nose tackle. Second and 14, Kyle Brown. Taken down by Mike Singletary in a nine-yard game. So on third and four, Jackson pops it. He completes it to Trevor Ellis. And Trevor Ellis breaks a couple of tackles before he's brought down for the first down. First and ten again. Jackson on the wide receiver screen. That's broken up by Jay Lair, another senior. Second and ten, Jackson again. They called another wide receiver screen, and that one was broken up. So here we go on third and 10. Jackson, plenty of time, finds Eric Mack, but he's well short of the first down marker. And now USC has the ball on their first possession of the game. And there goes the man, the myth, the legend, Adam Williams. There he goes again on second and six, two yard gain. And we're looking at third and five. On third and five, Hatley steps back to pass. Has plenty of time, but he's sacked in the backfield, and the Trojans are forced to punt. That was Lamar Moses, by the way, on the sack. There goes Austin in motion. There goes the, the option handoff to, looks like, Cal Brown again. Yes, it was Cal Brown again. Second and eight. Option read, another pitch. There goes Gibson. He's snatched by Brandon Dixon for a one-yard gain. And here we go on third and seven. Screen pass. Kyle Brown taken down by Steve Tatum before he can even sip the first down marker. And the Trojans are getting the ball right back. Adam Williams up the gut on first and 10. Bullying his way, weaving through traffic. 10 yards, second and inches. Next play, second and inches. Adam Williams, he makes sure he gets past that first down marker this time. And USC's moving the chains. First and 10, Hatley pops it. A wide open, Cedric Douglas, 30-20, and he's taken out of bounds at the 46-yard gain. 
USC is cooking in the red zone. Second and nine, Hadley. Doesn't see anybody downfield, decides to take off and run. All that just for two yards. Yikes. So here we go. Third and eight. Hatley again. He sees nobody and he's set. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the first quarter. We're going to have to turn it up. And here we go. The freshman Davis, the hero from the Stanford game. He gets the three points and USC's cruising three nothing. We start the second quarter. There goes Jackson. He finds, looks like Ryan Austin for a gain of four yards. And here we go on second and six. Another read option for Courtney Jackson. Eight yard gain. First down, Oregon Ducks. First and 10. There goes the hand up to Cal Brown. He goes up the gut. And there goes a seven yard gain. Second and three. Another read for, uh, it looks like Courtney Jackson. He gets another first down. First down, Oregon. Another hand up the Cal Brown up the middle. Seven yard gain. Next play, second and three. A missed tackle. And there goes the pitch from Jackson to Trevor Ellis. And that is the third uh, first down of this drive for the Oregon Ducks. And there goes Jackson again. This time he completes it to Lamar Malone for a gain of just one yard. Jackson gets the call from the sideline. Another wide receiver screen, and that is incomplete. And on 39, there goes Kyle Brown again. He comes up short of the first down, and it's fourth and five. Oregon decides to take the three points, and it's good. Yeah, in real life, Oregon probably would have went for that on fourth and five. Red talk. On the ensuing kickoff, there goes Trevor Jones. He cuts the corner. He's loose. 40. 45, just inside the USC 47-yard line. Next play, first and 10. Hadley, yeah. Isaiah Freeman probably should have picked that off, but thank God he didn't. Next play, Hadley. Play action pass. The safety eats it up. Cedric Douglas is by himself, and he goes in for a house call. Touchdown, USC. Now let's look at that again. Look at the safety right here. He eats the play action, and Douglas is free to catch the ball out by himself. Great play there, and we're up 10-3. Next drive, Kyle Brown up the gut. First down, USC. He's had a great year so far. Another read option for Courtney Jackson. He steps on Brian Garrett, and he gets another first down. The option read is like the only thing working for their offense so far. Another re-option right here. Missed tackle there. Taken down by Michael Tate. And another first down for Oregon. Now they're cooking. Courtney Jackson just bulldozed Daniel Smith, but he was taken down by Brandon Dixon for a three-yard loss. So on second and 13, Jackson sees nothing downfield. Steve Tatum sacks him before he can even think about taking off. Third and 16. The pass is picked off by Ronald Freeman. Ronald Freeman's take going the other way with it. 40, 45. Pushed out of bounds. First turnover of the game for the Trojan defense. Great play there by Ronald Freeman. Next play, first and 10. Hadley doesn't see anybody downfield. He runs into the fullback, Fred Smith, and gets a gain of six yards out of bounds. Next play, Adam Williams runs the ball down the throat. Gain of five, first down Trojans. Next play, Williams again. Nice run to the outside. He gets Excellent hit job by the defense to and gets a gain of six yards. He got hit pretty hard on that play too. Hatley again. Douglas. And he's out Second and four catch. becomes a first down after that catch. First and ten again, Hatley. There goes Douglas again. Inside the five, down at the one. First and goal. Hatley. He finds Douglas in the end zone. He's becoming his favorite target as the season went along, along with Trevor Jones. Another touchdown for the Trojans right before the half. It's 17 to three. There goes Courtney Jackson again, and there goes Mike Singletary again, taking him down. Next play, second and four. Jackson doesn't even try to read the defense or read who's downfield. He just immediately takes off. 
second and uh, third and two, excuse me. Jackson takes off again, just looking to get something going. It looks like this is the only thing going for their offense. Is if Courtney Jackson takes off a run, that was a gain of 29. Next play, Jackson, a great catch there by Gibson. Good job staying out of bounds. But the Trojans are going to get hit with a rough in the pass, a call. And it looks like that was on Todd Reese. Ugh. Next play, eight seconds left in the half. Jackson is sacked. He fumbled the ball. Our offensive line picks it up. And it's second and 12. And Oregon decides to be smart and be wise and takes the three points and we go into the halftime with the trojans lead 17 to 6. what's going to happen in the second half first play of the second half third quarter look at leo ward breaking tackles dodging defenders a 31 yard gain that was a beautiful run there man we ain't forgot about you leo ward i promise you we haven't we got big plans for you in the future Next play, first and 10. Again, Hadley sees nothing downfield, and he gets a three-yard gain. Second and seven, Tyler Stewart. 13-yard gain, first down, Trojans. Next play, first and 10, Hadley stepping back, popping. Finds Adam Williams in the flat for a five-yard gain. That's better than nothing. Next play, screen pass. Adam Williams again, shakes a man, breaks up tackle from another man and another man. And he's taken down, but he gets the first down. And here we go on first and ten. Hadley steps back to pass. Look at Adam Williams. He can run that thing. He can pat. He can catch the ball out the backfield. He can block. He can do it all. And here we go with the patented USC halfback toss play. Touchdown USC. Adam Williams. I believe that's his first touchdown of the game. Yeah, that's his first touchdown of the game. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Third quarter, Courtney Jackson, again, the read option is the only thing that Oregon has going for them right now. As they're trailing by 18 points, three possessions, another handoff, and there goes Kyle Brown. 13-yard gain up the gut. First and 10, another wide receiver screen. This time it works. Trevor Ellis gets a 12-yard gain on that pass, first down. Courtney Jackson gets the call from the sideline. There goes Ryan Austin in motion. The handoff goes to Kyle Brown. And he gets walloped for a seven-yard gain. Third and three, second and three. Somebody just missed another tackle. And Courtney Jackson gets a first down. Next play. There goes Kyle Brown again. Three-yard gain, but he gets hurt on the play. It's second and seven now. Jackson hands it off to James Mullins. Mike Singletary takes him down at the one-yard gain. So third and six. They get the call from the sideline again. Jackson hands off to James Mullins. And he's taken down by Adrian Carter. The Oregon offense couldn't get, can't get nothing going. So they're just going to take the three points. Very wise there. Next possession. Trojans. Hatley. Sacked. Sacked by Andy Mueller. Second and 16. Hatley steps back. And again, he's hitting the backfield, but it's incomplete. Next play, Hatley decides to look for it all. Going deep. He is incomplete. Bobby Smith with the great deflection there. Oregon gets the ball back off the turnover on downs. And look at Courtney Jackson on this option read. Takes off. He's tackled by Ronald Freeman, but he's well inside the uh well inside the red zone there goes another audible call jackson steps it up touchdown touchdown oregon the read option has been on point for oregon so far this game there goes adam williams on the next play brought down around the usc 40 yard line we're looking to go to adam williams again and there he goes he breaks free 30 has one man to beat he beat him 10 5 touchdown usc wow what's gotten into adam williams he's been clowning these last three games what's going on ever since john simmons went down he knew he had to step up huh well here we go as you can see there runner freeman takes down courtney jackson for an 11 yard gain in the first down next play james mullins it doesn't look like Kyle Brown's going to come back in this game, huh? 
Second and seven. Jackson takes off the pass, doesn't even bother seeing who's open downfield, and it's third and one. And on third and one, there goes Jackson again. Keeps the ball. Brian Garrett pushes him out of bounds. 32 seconds left in the third quarter. There goes Courtney Jackson. Screen pass. Missed tackle there by Todd Reese. And he's pushed out of bounds for another first down. Next play, another option read. Courtney Jackson is killing us right now. Second and three. Another handoff, this time to Dotson. Chase Dotson gets a three-yard gain, and that's a first down. And we go into the third, third, well, that's the end of the third quarter. Now we go into the money quarter. Fourth quarter, James Mullins meets Mike Singletary right at the line of scrimmage and gets tackled. Second and nine. There goes Gibson in motion, and there goes James Mullins again. And looks like Joseph Ernst beats him this time. Next play, third, third and ten. It's picked off in the end zone by Brandon Dixon. Dixon, another big time cornerback that we haven't forgotten about. He's had a quiet season so far. Great season, but pretty, but quiet. Nobody's really talking about him. Second and six. There goes Cedric Douglas again. As he gets speared by the DB on that play, but he got the, got the catch for the first down. Pro formation. Hadley steps back to pass. He doesn't see anything. He thought he saw something that time, but at that moment, he gets hit. It's an incomplete pass. Second and 10, Hadley steps back. Yeah, that should have been a pick by also by Bobby Smith. Third and 10, Hadley. There goes Tyler Stewart. An ankle tackle away from call from another house call for USC. Next play, Trevor Jones in the end zone. This time, Hatley gets got by the Oregon defense. It's picked off by Woods. And now Oregon takes over. They're going the other way with it. There goes another option read. That looked like there should have been a pitch play. But Courtney Jetson decides to keep it, and he gets another first down. Pretty sure at this point, Courtney Jackson has well over 100 yards rushing. And now look at this. He's well over 100 now, no doubt. As he takes that in for a touchdown. A 61-yard run. A 61-yard house call. And then they're going to go for two. Hadley, look at that beautiful interception there by Paul Garrett. Now look at this update from the studio. Another Red River shootout in the Big 12 title game. And Oklahoma takes it. That was big. I wonder what bowl game they're going to be in. Damn, poor Texas. Next play, Hatley, Trevor Jones. He's had a quiet game, but he's been effective every time he touched the ball. Adam Williams, up the gut, bullying, weaving through traffic. Nine-yard game. Second and one. Williams again. This time, he moves to change. First down, USC. First and ten again, Hatley. Ugh, nobody was open downfield, and he gets sacked. As you can see, that defensive lineman is bear crawling. There goes Leo Ward, the sophomore sensation out of New Jersey. He gets another first down for the USC Trojans. Next play, Adam Williams. Stopped at the line of scrimmage, a loss to one. Williams again, we're going to look to keep feeding Williams over and over again. Try to, try to run this clock down, and as you can see here, there goes the five-star recruit, Brian Gordon, the commissioner, breaking tackles. Oh, yeah, there goes Oregon calling another timeout. Here goes Brian Gordon again. This time he's brought down at the 10-yard line, second and eight for the Trojans. Next play, Adam Williams cuts inside. Touchdown. Touchdown, Trojans. Touchdown, USC. I believe that is his third touchdown of the game. Now look at this. The national championship is settled. The Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets are winners of the ACC. If we can keep this league on Oregon, we're playing them in New Orleans. As you can see there, Courtney Jackson completes that nice pass to the, to the sideline for a first down. There goes Courtney Jackson again, completing the pass to Ryan Austin. First down again. 
at the at the USC 30. There goes Courtney the Jackson again, and that should have been picked off by Jay Lair. Come on, bro. Second and ten. Jackson popping. Joseph Ernst takes down that looks like Trevor Ellis. This time it's third and two. Another call from the sideline by the Oregon head coach. Jackson pops it. Eric Matt beat Brandon Dixon on the cover three. And it's going in for an Oregon touchdown. They go for two again. And they don't get it. So it remains 38-28. We're going to look to feed Adam Williams again on this play. Adam Williams gets a block from Trevor Jones. Gone. Game. Set. Match. Touchdown. That's touchdown number four for Adam Williams. Touchdown number four. How many yards has he had over the last four games? Next play. I mistimed it, and Eric Matt completes it. I tried to get the animation. They wouldn't give it to me. Next play. There goes Eric Mack again on the wide receiver screen. He fumbles the ball, and that looks like it was recovered by Paul. No, yeah, that was that was Brian Garrett. So that does it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at this play again. This was Adam Williams' second touchdown of the game, as you can see, he beat one man. Adam Williams has been on one these last few games, man. Ever since John Simmons got injured, he's been on one. He's had about 500, 600 yards over the last four games. That's crazy. But yeah. So we win our seventh Pac-12 title in a row. Next time, as you can see, the stat line there for Adam Williams with a career day. But next time, as you can see, we're gonna going to get our hands on that Pac-12 championship once again. But next time, I'm going to show you the uh, the season awards. I'm going to show you who wins the Heisman. I'm going to show you show you the bowl games. Well, possibly, I don't know shit. I don't even remember if I recorded all the bowl games or not. But please believe, we're going to be going to New Orleans and we're going to be playing Georgia Tech in the Sugar Bowl for the national championship. Oh, man, Adam Williams had over 200 yards in this game. And this defense did a great job, too. Mike Singletary had 10, 10 tackles. 10 tackles again. Yeah, he's also our leading tackler on the team, so... As a team, we had three sacks, Cole Mackey, Tate, and Tatum. But join us next time. We're going to see who wins the Heisman, who wins the Belitnikov, the Thorpe, and all that good stuff. This was fun. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Y'all take care. Peace.